Hi, I'm Jeremy Gaffney, and this is Wildstar. Today we're going to talk something particularly cool, combat, and specifically telegraphs. What's a telegraph? Well, basically, the real simple concept is this. You see a red thing on the ground, you get the heck out of it. And these red things come in all shapes and sizes, because you know, we want you to react to them in different ways, sometimes by dodging in and out of them, by interrupting the spell that's going to happen, or that incents you to maybe attack something from behind or to have a different pattern of movement while you're fighting. Like if you're a melee guy, you gotta back off from this guy or interrupt the attack. Some of these things are spells that do more damage the longer you stay in a zone or they do crowd control and kind of knock you over. The effects are all sorts of different things from modifying the battlefield with you know poison gas or causing big spike traps to come at unless you run directly at a monster. Or they're just crazy and random, and they're causing you to you know, have a different pattern in each fight. Because we don't want you getting too used to things, you know? This monster burrows underground, and then it seeks you and pops up and damages an area. Or monsters will knock you back into more and more damage. We start off simple, and then as time builds, as levels go up, we start throwing more and more at you. Just cool stuff. And combinations, so that if you get used to one attack, now all of a sudden it's going to mix in some new things as well, so that uh, there's always a challenge for you. A lot of these things are kind of environment modifying. This guy's laying down a poison cloud or dropping honey on the ground so that the area is going to slow you and it's going to spread and cause a very interesting battlefield, especially as you fight in higher level combats or fight against lots of monsters at once. You can imagine the battlefields get very complex with positive things to do. You know, maybe there's poison mushrooms and you set them off and it's going to damage all the monsters nearby. Or you can learn from these things and maybe lure monsters into a cannon strike. Or, you know, in general, the more intelligent you are about using these things, we like giving you bonuses for doing them to make the environment very interactive. Uh, this makes it so that not just monsters are interesting to fight, and they get lots and lots of cool powers over time. You get cool powers over time to use against them, some of which change the battlefield to yourself. But also the environments are very interesting to fight in. So now group combat becomes quite interesting. When you fight a whole bunch of monsters at once, you can rack up a ton of bonuses. Lots of different things to evade. Multi-kill, double kill, triple kill. The more skillfully you fight, the more benefits you get in it. It's one of the sort of the basic contracts we make with the player. If you're a really skilled player, we're going to give you extra rewards for this as you learn things. Because we have a really simple philosophy. We want you to get in the game and have cool, fun combat from the start. You know, it's a little different than what you've seen before. And then we want to build on this over time so that there's all sorts of variety. We don't want people getting bored as they level up in the game. You know, we want you to get from level one up to top level, seeing different monsters, different environments, different combinations that just get cooler and cooler and cooler. We want to pay off this combat in PvP so that PvP comes very interesting as you see all the different player attacks and player telegraphs going off. We want group combat to be really cool, so you're in a raid, and now all of a sudden you've got different combinations of your attacks and how your friendlies are lining up, how the enemies are lining up, to make for cool combat start to finish.